however you look at Zlatan Ibrahimovic, if you look at, at him as a football player on the pitch, or the way that he's transformed uh, society, or the way that politics is now divided, he probably is one of the key figures. <laughs> I remember seeing him some game for the youth team when he was maybe 17. I didn't know this, but apparently he'd done something wrong at some of the trainings before the game. So he wasn't allowed to start. He was on the bench. But they were like 3 0 down at half time, so they brought him on anyway because he was that good. And he scored like, I can't remember now, but like six or seven goals by himself. And we were all very much wow. It's just been magic uh, to, to follow his career. You never had so many Ajax fans in Sweden. You never had so many Juventus fans in Sweden. You never had so many Inter Milan fans in Sweden. You never had so many Barcelona fans. One of the things that we say in Swedish when something is really, really good is that it's very um, un-Swedish. I think Slatana sort of um, tuned into that, that he's very un-Swedish but still being Swedish. He come back here for, I think it was 2009, it was the first national game here in, uh, in this stadium. It was a new built here and we played against San Marino. They have a practice here in the Sunday morning in the first time Slatan play here. And the Swedish Football Federation say maybe come two or three uh, hundred people to look at the, the training. When the training started, it's 6,000 people in the arena for look at the training. Before, um, you had uh, players that looked, they looked the same, they had the same uh, second names and so on. It's much easier, I think, for a, for a guy uh, who's second generation immigrant, maybe his mother and father are Kurds, that when they look on the pitch and there's a, a, a Malmö player who comes from the same area with also second generation immigrant Kurdish parents, he has some sort of link to that player, to the team. In the beginning, where I, when I started to go uh, uh, more regularly in 94, there was only more or less good old Swedish guys, but uh, now it's more reflectant how Malmö actually really looks like, uh, both on the pitch and in the audience. It's a representation of who we are. It's not every Swedish uh, team, every Swedish club, but a lot of them. And those places, um, they are the best integration project that we've had in Sweden. There's also a really strong supporter culture in Malmö for Malmö FF. Take for example the first round of the Champions League. We took most people to the away game. It wasn't Man United travelling to uh, Eindhoven. It wasn't uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach travelling to Sevilla. It was Malmö FF travelling to Paris Saint-Germain. That's how strong it is. If someone told me that 15 years ago, I would have laughed in their faces. I have uh, sent a couple of emails to him every time he wins uh, a gold abroad and, uh, and telling him congratulations for the, the, this title, but you still haven't won anything with Malmö. I couldn't uh, finish off my career without uh, winning any in my, in my home club, so... Come home, Slatan. It's always difficult to come back in a club where you won a Scudetto Cup, and because you can, it's impossible. It's impossible to do better. But you know, when they call me, I come back. But I talk all the risk because it's very difficult.